So hey folks and welcome to another video. It's another Sunday. The uh, the rain's dried up so I thought I'd get out and uh, do a video that I've wanted to do for a long time. And uh, that's all about a product that I use in combination with my phone. So stick around, stay tuned and uh, I'll tell you more and show you more about this product. So the product I'm talking about is uh, the Ultimate Add-ons phone case. Now you can get these for iPhones or Android phones, different cases. Um, this is the latest uh, next generation one that's just come out and uh, I've been using these for about three years now on my uh, on my videos. So the product you can see there uh, with my phone inside is the Ultimate Add-ons case and uh, Ultimate Add-ons, I've been using their products for about three years now and I've done about uh, tens of thousands of miles using one of these cases and uh, the main reason I use it is to uh, a keep my phone dry and on the bike but uh, as you can see here I also use it as a sat nav when I'm traveling to areas that I do not know and uh, comes in very handy keeps the phone totally waterproof now I know some uh, phones are waterproof today like the next generation iPhones um, but it's just peace of mind that it's totally uh, in a waterproof case and uh, the actual screen plate on the front you can actually touch through so you can control all of the uh, features on the phone and um, basically uh, I find it very good you can also plug a charge lead into it whether it be a USB or hardwired to the bike they do some hardwire kits which are very good uh, I don't have one on this bike because I have the uh, cigarette lighter socket just down here and uh, I utilize that to uh, to charge it although I'm not using today just on this uh, this test of the new generation case I'll show you a bit more in detail about how the phone fits into the case uh, a little while in the video and have a look at the uh, the connection obviously I've got a set of bars on here they're not clip-ons they're just uh, straight through bars on the MT-10 so I'll, uh, I'll show you the mounting system I'm using um, it's not one by Ultima add-ons it's one that I had for something else and I use it's just a ball mount so a one inch ball mount which the Ultima add-ons ball mount clips fits onto and then the phone uh, clips on or the case clips on so uh, yeah so as you can see I'm using it as a sat nav um, the sat nav system that I use or the app on my phone is Copilot and uh, there is a review in the back catalogue of videos and uh, I'll put a link to that just here and um, basically that app covers uh, all different countries you can download different maps but what it does do is it allows you to um, click either car usage or motorcycle usage uh, in other words, it finds the best roads, motorcycling roads in uh, most countries. And I've used it in conjunction with the Ultimate Add-ons case for many years, and uh, I've had no trouble whatsoever or no wrong roads. Uh, the phone's always been kept waterproof inside, and uh, yeah, very happy with this setup. Uh, they're not that expensive, these cases. Uh, you can pick them up from. Uh, most stores or if you go to the uh, website which I'll put a link to just at the bottom here and also a link in the description I think the uh, the only difference I can see other than the cases being more um, well built and uh, quality materials than the uh, the previous versions uh, on the previous versions you had a um, on off button that pushed through the case into the uh, the buttons on the side of the phone and also the volume buttons are missing I see on the new version um, but now everything's on the the front screen you do not need that and uh, you can control everything from the front screen um, some gloves you can buy have like a touch finger that uh, work with touch screens um, but generally I tend to without gloves while I'm parked set my sat nav system up and uh, just follow the route that it takes me on so there are a few different uh, cases or phone type cases on the market and like I say I, uh, I do like this one because it does fully enclose the phone um, modern phones now they say they're waterproof but 
I'm not sure whether I'd want to drop it in a toilet or a bath or a sink to test it with them being so expensive these days um, so I think if I'm going on a really really long tour or a European tour then uh, just peace of mind I'd put this on and uh, have this on the bike for that uh, I do use uh, another type um, of uh, phone case and holder and you can see that in the back catalogue of videos um, I haven't really a preference uh, this one fully encloses the phone whereas the other ones that I see on the market don't fully enclose the phone and rely on the waterproofing of the phone and uh, some have different charge uh, pads and different capabilities uh, this one's pretty straightforward you run a lead through the, uh, the bottom of the case and plug in and uh, like I say I've had no issues with that uh, whatsoever so we're just out for a, uh, a nice Sunday ride like I say the weather's uh, picked up a little bit the good thing about this case as well is you can angle it at different angles it's quite a glossy screen so I angle it down a little bit so I can uh, see it and the sun's not reflecting on it um, but I'm really impressed with the build quality it's got a catch just here and another catch on the top with three snap locks at the corners uh, it's hinged at the bottom here um, you can mount it uh, this way up if you wanted to uh, whether it be on the handlebars or the mirrors or wherever you want to mount it or you can mount it uh, horizontally just there uh, like I said it's on a, uh, a ball mount so you can uh, put it at any angle you want and what we'll do a little bit uh, ahead when we find a, uh, a road or somewhere we can pull up we'll, uh, we'll stop and I'll give you a look uh, at the, uh, the mounting system and how it attaches so I'm probably best showing you with, uh, with this camera uh, it's a little bit windy today so apologies if you're getting any uh, wind but uh, I'll just show you how it all mounts and things uh, but just to show you how it comes out of the case so you've got uh, one clip here one clip at the top so you can leave the case in place and just take the phone out uh, and then you've got two clips and one just at the bottom corner the flap flips down you've got a uh, screen here you can see that protects it and uh, basically you've got a uh, inner layer which is made of silicon some kind of silicon material let's pop that away and as you can see just in here in the bottom you've got a plug that you can pull out waterproof plug where you plug your um, power lead in as you can see you've got a screen at the back here so you can still utilize your camera on the, the actual phone and uh, basically when you fasten it up uh, you clip them into place and then uh, fasten both the latches like so um, like I said you can have it horizontal or vertical and uh, you can angle it at any angle you want now on the back I'll just unclip it you can see there's an attachment just here here is where I said the camera was and the actual case here is uh, like raised up with Ultima add-ons is the name of the company that makes it um, you've got a attachment here you squeeze in these two tabs and that unlocks the uh, the mount from the case and uh, as you can see there I've just got it on a handlebar mount ball mount setup and then when I put the uh, case back on uh, basically just like that I push the two clips in and then it fits into uh, position so the other one I use is uh, just Google Maps if you don't want to download a separate app like Copilot and uh, if you're in the UK you can use Google Maps um, by the way the Copilot app does not use your data so if you are abroad in a different country then it's best to use that app but if you're in the UK you can just use Google Apps and uh, I think it uses a little bit of your phone data so that's the only difference really and uh, yeah I, uh, I do like the uh, the Copilot app over Google Maps but you can just see there what it's like uh, on the uh, the phone and inside the Ultima add-ons case So while I'm just stuck in this traffic jam, I'm just going to uh, show you the 
the boxed bits or box of bits you get from Ultimate add-ons, how it's packaged. And uh, yeah, if you're in the uh, the market for a phone case, the uh, Ultimate add-ons. Uh, this one is uh, for my iPhone 11 Max. But yeah, great product, great company, and great service and support. So uh, yeah, I'll show you that now. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on another video. Okay, so what we have here is the packaged uh, item. So uh, this comes from uh, Ultimate Add-ons. And uh, this one's for uh, iPhone 11 XS Max. It's the tough case. Um, quite neatly packaged and uh, basically all you've got in there is the uh, the case you'll have a strap a wrist strap and a charging lead um, the other thing that they sent me and uh, this one's for a um, like a mirror mount or a thin handlebar mount um, is an attachment and uh, in here comes the uh, basically the ball mount as you can see here and uh, you'll have the uh, the green clip on that goes onto the back of the uh, the iPhone uh, case as well. So that's coming from uh, Ultimate Add-ons. You've got uh, various different mounts and attachments you can order from them, and uh, just make sure you order the right one for the the right uh, bike. Uh, you can get uh, stem mounts, so for sport bikes that go into the stem on the bike with a ball mount, so you can attach it, or you can have a, a handlebar setup, or they do some for bicycles as well.